Listen, they will come to me with a deal. Him say sign and say if you're not bus next week. Hey, me and Sonoma, you don't know and next better not represent, you know. Big Stone Television, you know. So just keep it locked. Cause Big Stone is the real big man. You see me and say. A very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to big stone television as you know we are on a series a series of recognizing the greats in life and even in death remembering the works that they have done for us especially in the music industry we're talking about reggae music and dance hall we're talking about back in the days when the dance hall was a place to go listen to reggae music, ska, mento, or whatever. Dance all today has become a genre. Let's get back to yesteryears. Let's get back to where it all started with a man by the name of Winston Cooper, more commonly known as Count Machuki. Is regarded by many music historians as the father of DJing and rap. He revolutionized the role of the sound system disc jockey from being merely a selector to one who used a microphone to toast over a track making rhythmic vocal sounds and interact with his audience. Machuki of birth is often stated as 1939 but sources included a next door neighbor close to the legendary toaster and confirm that his year of birth is closer to 1929. That would make him approximately 21 rather than 11 years old when his career began in 1950. Count Machuki worked for Tom the Great Sebastian, a sound system regarded as the first commercially successful sound system in Jamaica. The sound system was owned by Tom Wong, a Chinese Jamaican who operated a hardware store at the corner of Charles Street and Luke Lane, two blocks from Machuki's home and Matthews Lane in the heart of West Kingston. Count Machuki recalled getting his first break as a disc selector on December 26, 1950. Tom the Great Sebastian was playing at Forrester's Lawn and liquor was selling at a fast clip. Tom Wong opted to leave the venue to go get liquor to replenish the rapidly dwindling stock and asked Machuki to select the disc in his absence. Machuki recounted that the crowd loved his selections. Count Machuki eventually parted way with Tom Wong because, as Machuki claimed, Tom shifting the plain base of the sound system to the upscale silver slipper in Crossroad to avoid sound system clashes, which Machuki relish with the likes of Nick the Champ and Duke Reeds the Trojan. Machuki next break came when he attended a send out party at which so Cox and Downbeat, a sound system owned by Clement Dodd, was playing. As fate would have had it, Machuki recounted that he had left his handkerchief at home inadvertently and decided not to dance fearing that his shirt would be drenched with perspiration a condition he loathed in order to occupy his time count machuki asked to help with this selection clement dad was impressed with machuki as a selector 
and his dexterity with the turntable and recruited him that night. It was while Sir Coxon Downby that Count Machuk is first toasted on the microphone while selecting records. He also created vocal sounds he referred to as peps, which shared commonality with what is now known as beatboxing. With Count Machuki as the main selector, Sir Coxon Downbeat and Duke Reed's The Trojan engage in many epic sound clashes along North Street, then known as Beat Street. The dance hall they operated from on North Street, Forrester's Hall and King's Lawn were separated only by Love Lane. Whilst at Coxon's Downbeat, Machuki recruited King Stitt, who himself became a dance hall legend. When Machuki left Sir Coxon's downbeat to join Prince Buster's Voice of the People sound system, Stitt took over as lead DJ for sound system number one and Uroy was given control of sound system number two. Unfortunately, Machuki had only few recordings. Uroy, who eventually left Sir Coxon's downbeat, went on to commercialize and popularize DJing with monster hits such as Wake the Town, and Way You to the Ball, citing Machuki as a major influence on his work. He praised Machuki for not crowding the music when he's toasted, allowing listeners to hear the words of the vocalist clearly. It is a style that Uroy emulated. Uroy's commercial success opened the door for a succession of DJ such as Big Youth, Dennis Al Capone, Scotty, Trinity, and Dillinger who followed. While DJing was deepening its roots in Jamaica, it was iron shores afar. In 1967, Clive Campbell, then 12 years old, migrated to New York from Jamaica with his family, adopting the moniker DJ Cool Eric and setting up a sound system with equipment he accessed from his father, a technician in a local band, he and his sister Cindy decided to throw a party in their Wex Bronx apartment in 1973. DJ Erk's music setup included two turntables and a mixer which allowed him to switch seamlessly between records. The double turntable also enabled him to extend the breakbeat on records by playing the same record on two turntables and cueing the break in the record a method he pioneered and which was emulated all over the New York City area during the 1970s, thus giving birth to hip-hop. At the said 1973 party, DJ Irk also toasted over and between tracks as his dancehall precursors were doing back in Jamaica. The toasting allowed him to engage his audience and build rapport with them. Just as toasting led to DJing in Jamaica, it evolved into rap in the US. DJ Eric is recognized widely as a pioneer of hip hop. Count Machuki not only introduced innovativeness in the dance hall, but style and fashion. An ex to neighbor that Machuki was always nattily dressed. He would spend hours burnishing his shoes in preparation for dances. He usually wore suits on occasion. He was merely a patron. And white shirt and black pants which pronounced seams when he was working the turntable. Count Machuki passed away in 1995. His financial standing bore no evidence to the two multi-billion dollar music genre, DJing and hip hop, for which he unwittingly laid the foundation from his innovativeness in Jamaican dance hall in the 1950, notwithstanding his legacy will endure. Jamaica here you have it again, a pioneer, a legend, an icon, Count Machuki, the man who actually started DJing in Jamaica. Daddy Uroy gave him that honor, complimented him, told the world that he always wanted to be like Count Machuki. King Stitt also honor the great one, Count Machuki, for the great work that he did in Jamaica. But it is very sad. These great ones died poor. 
its financial standing bore no evidence to the two multi-billion dollar music genre, which is DJing and hip hop. We need to set up foundation, as we spoke before. We need to set up foundation where we can have all the artists benefit the next of kin benefit from the amount of millions or billions of dollars that their participation in a culture, our music, have done. So Count Machuki, I lift my hats off to you, sir. Thank you very much for being this innovative young person that you were. Not afraid to try new things. Not afraid to test the waters. Because in you testing the waters, you have led millions of others to fortune and fame. Count Machuki, you're a great one, sir. Thank you very much for being a part of our culture. We can actually own you in Jamaica, Count Machuki. At this time, I just want to say condolences again to your families and your friends and your millions of fans scattered right around the world. The great one has came, he has saw, he has delivered, and he definitely conquered. Count Machuki, you are indeed the great one. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet, subscribe to my channel. Now is the most appropriate time for you to do so. Thank you very much.